Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss feminist literary criticism. This video is divided into some sections like introduction, feminism literary movement, representation of women in literature, feminist criticism, Ellen Schwalter, Gino and Androtex, different phases and different feminisms and we will discuss all these sections one by one let's first go through introduction of feminist literary criticism it is mainly stated that 1960 is the start of feminism but in fact 1960 was not the start of feminism, but in this, the tradition and thoughts men mentioned in the classic books were renewed. Like there were many books, like A Vindiction of the Rights of Women, A Room of One's Own, The Second Sex, which diagnosed the unequal treatment of women in society. So in 1960, these traditions, thoughts and ideas mentioned in these classic books were renewed. Feminism is literary. Feminism was literary from the start. What does it mean? It means that from the beginning Feminism was deeply concerned with books and feminism was deeply concerned with the images of women in literature. Literature is very important aspect of society because it reflects society, it gives you role models, it gives you different goals that how one should be. So at that time in literature, the goal, the feminine goal, which was set, and the goal which, which was set for women was mainly to find a marriage partner and to gain the financial security. So feminism was concerned with such type of images of women in literature and they want to, to change these images in literature like it is mentioned here in the slide in 19th century fiction the goal is to find a marriage partner while the feminism was basically seeking for the images like to find the working roles etc Feminism, Feminist Criticism, 1970s. In 1970s, the main focus of feminist criticism was on to expose the patriarchy because it was the cultural mindset in the mind of men and women. And this cultural mindset basically governs the inequality of women in society. The second main attention was given to the male writer because in the work of male writers there were the influential or typical images of women. So the feminists basically want to change this typical images and the influential images of women in literature. After 1970s, Ellen Schwelter state, stated that now the focus that after the 1970s, the main focus was shifted from endotext to gynotext. And she also coined the word of gynocriticism. What is endotext? Endotext is the writings which were written by male writers we can say that books by men while the gyno text 
are the books by women and gynocriticism is basically study of the books which were written and which are written by women so according to Ellen Shovelta after 1970 the shift or oh, the focus was shifted from Andrew texts to gyno texts she also explains three main phases in feminist literary criticism the first phase is feminine phase which is from 1840 to 18 and in this phase the women writers imitated male writers and the male artistic norms and aesthetic standards so in first phase feminine phase male writers were imitated in the second phase the separatist position was maintained between male writers and female writers which is which was from 1880 to 1920 the female phase is the last phase which is from 1920 and onwards and this phase is only concerned and it particularly look at a female writing and a female experience now we have <clears throat> different what do you say types of feminist criticisms like first is the anglo american feminist criticism in anglo american is a liberal humanistic criticism and uh, the major interest of anglo american feminism is in traditional critical concepts like theme motive and characterization some of the prominent writers of the anglo american or Ellen Shovelter and Sandra Gilbert The second is English feminist criticism The English feminist criticism is different from Anglo-American it it tends to be socialist feminist in and it is also culturally aligned with materialism so the tendency of english feminism is towards socialism and marxism the last is french feminist criticism F french feminist criticism focus on psychology language and language and uh, some of the main fe french feminist critics are lacan foucault and derrida and uh, they basically write about language the representation of language psychology and uh, the different philosophical issues in literary text so no sorry before coming to literary text they deal with philosophical issues uh, psychology and language so this is all about feminist feminist literary criticism in this video we discussed how the different thoughts and traditions were renewed in 1960s which were present in classic books how feminism is literary because uh, it is concerned with the images of women in literature and in 1970 the main focus of, was on patriarchy and the male writers and what is the 
androgyno tax and what are the main phases and what are the main types of feminism so this is all about feminist literary criticism i hope that the video will be helpful to clear the basic concept thank you very much for watching